everyone welcome back to my channel we are doing another review this week on my channel and this review is all about the Urban Decay primer potion right here and I got this on Black Friday I don't know if you knew or not but on Black Friday they had this on sale for $15 so it was half off it's originally 30 31 I think 31 and I use this with points so I literally walked out of Ulta without paying anything for this primer which is pretty dang good I gotta say for an Urban Decay real good so I've been using it for the past couple of weeks, ever since Black Friday, and I've kind of formed a review on it. So let's go ahead and jump into the review. So the first thing that you'll notice on here is it does have a squeezy tip on the end, which is pretty awesome. And it does have a very silicone feel to the primer. Um, it is a skin tone primer, so I'll show you that right there. And it just kind of blends into the skin really nicely and kind of makes it have that awesome smooth feeling that I've come to know. And it's one of my favorite kinds of primers. I don't like like the liquid primers that you put it on and you don't even feel like you there's anything on your face. I don't like those kinds of primers. I like the kind that do have a little bit of a silicone feel and they make your skin feel really smooth because I feel like it creates a really smooth base. Especially because I do have so many... Um, like textures on my skin, varying texture on my skin. So I really appreciate the smooth feeling of this primer right here. It blends in nicely, so if you are pale or you are dark, it's not gonna show up or anything like that. You can't even tell that it's probably on my hand. It blends in. Um, this primer though is very emollient. It's not like some of the silicone primers that I've tried before where it just kind of blends out. Like I can definitely feel this on my skin and I don't think it works that well for oily skin in particular. Um, I do have a friend that has this and she uses it with her, she has dry skin and she uses this and she loves this primer. She absolutely adores it. I actually bought it for her for Christmas a couple of years ago. She still uses it and she uses it every day. So that tells you how much product is in here. There's a lot of product, product in here. Um, and so if you do have dry skin or you do have normal skin, I think you would really enjoy this primer, especially if you're a big Urban Decay fanatic and you love everything Urban Decay. I would highly encourage you to check it out if you do have that dry to normal skin. Now, if you do have oily skin, I'm just gonna let you know kind of what I've experienced from using this primer. So I have like three foundations I rotated, rotated through when I was using this primer. I used my L'Oreal infallible I use my Maybelline pro matte no my L'Oreal infallible pro matte I use my Maybelline matte foundation and then I also use my Revlon color stay and all of those foundations without this primer with like my benefit professional or even my Tarte primer that I have they don't feel oily or gross by the end of the day I do a nine hour work day my makeup goes on at 7 30 and that usually comes off around seven or eight that night so you're looking at probably around 12 hour wear and so by the end of the day I can usually be fine I don't feel gross I don't feel like it's heavy on my skin or anything like that now when I use this primer guys when it came to like 3 or 4 o'clock, my face just felt disgusting. Like it just felt gross. I could feel this on my skin. I could feel my foundation on my skin. Like it was disgusting. And I know it's this primer because I've used those foundations for years. And I love those foundations. That Revlon Color Stay has never done that to me. I've worn that foundation for like 3 years now straight. And it has never done that for me. So I know it is this primer. And another thing, I can just feel it on my skin all day. It makes my face so oily and so greasy and I'm pretty sure that because it is so emollient, it was breaking my skin out because I used this for like two weeks straight and I kept having these horrible breakouts right on my cheek area right here and that's not usually a place I typically break out um, especially not for it not being that time of the month or anything like that. I didn't understand why I was breaking out. I stopped using this primer like four days ago and since then my breakout is completely diminished. So I really think it was this primer. <laughs> um, so if you do have oily skin or you do have acne prone skin, I would kind of discourage you from purchasing this. I would always say get like a test of it and try it first because that's just, that's how I am. Just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it can't work for you. But if you do have oily or um, 
you do have like acne prone skin if you have a like combination but it's more on the oily than like normal or dry then I would highly encourage you to definitely test it out and try it before you just purchase this because it just made my skin feel disgusting by the end of the day and like I said I've used those foundations so I know it's not the foundation it has to be the primer it did really good at smoothing out my pores and creating a gorgeous base and all this stuff but I think it was so thick that it just was disgusting by the end of the day especially with all the oils that my face creates so definitely wouldn't get this if I was oily if you're dry or normal check it out so yeah guys that is all I have today for my review let me know down below if you have tried this Urban Decay primer I would love to know your thoughts especially if you do have um, combination or oily skin just to see if I am the same or if it's just my skin that's kind of freaking out over it because sometimes my skin just does that that's just you know it's a little weird. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below if you have checked it out. Also be sure to give me a thumbs up if you love primer reviews and reviews in general. Let me know down below what kind of items you want to see reviewed next on my channel because I do want to put some more reviews up. I've kind of been slacking on the reviews so I want to pop some more back on here. So let me know what you would like to see reviewed down below and also be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. We are so close to 200 guys and I am flipping my crap. I am so excited. Okay, enough of rambling. Y'all have a fabulous day and I'll check you again later. Bye guys! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are here with another Etsy haul. Both of my other stickers that I purchased from them by Friday appeared on Saturday and I like lost my crap. So today's video I am super super excited about because I actually feel like I've gotten to know her like the shop owner on a personal level. Um, not really on a personal level but I just I talk to her all the time on Periscope. I'm in her Facebook group and I just feel like I really wanted to buy a whole bunch of things from her shop just because I really wanted to support her because she's such a nice person.